Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I'm from Getcon. Today we want to continue with this, this first session and today we have some news about what is A360, right? And how it's work. The first thing, what is A360 drive? If you go to the page a360.autodesk.com, you can see this principal page. If you can read the information, the, the A360 drive is the simple cloud storage that you can share the information. You can obtain a free storage in the cloud. You only need to create your Autodesk account. And like it said, you can uh, put your studio and 3D drawing, the models and other, uh, and other files in this particular cloud. You can share this information for your partners and your friends, and you can access in any device. You can access in the, tab in the tablet, in your phone, and in your laptop. But now, this has maybe five or six years that it's worked with this name. And for now, recently, try to change it to shortcut the name to Autodesk Drive. If you can click to obtain more information about the, these changes, we can have three gigabytes for free cloud storage, and we can share with another user. You only need to create an account with Autodesk, and that's all. Now, how it's work, you only need to sign in with your account. And then for this example, I have some folders, I have some families, I have some models in this particular uh, store club. And you can see I have 100 gigabytes. And this is because I have a subscription, but you can obtain the five gigabytes that I, that I told you. For this example, you can put and you can share and visualize, for example, like image, something like Dropbox and another storage cloud. And the good thing is that you can share your model. For this example, I open a model that I'm working for my thesis. And now you can see it's a pen who was shared the model that you can obtain different information of different views and sheets. For example, I share only the 3D views with the different faces. Now, if I go zoom out, you can see that is if you if I go zoom in, you can see that this is a bridge, and we have the orbit. Uh, we can orbit the model. And we can pan the model very easily, and you can zoom in, zoom out the model. And if I want to see the model like the first person, we need to first close to the model to them and then click in the first person. Okay. Got it. And then you can walk wherever you want in this particular model and you can uh, fit your cam, for this example, and you can cut your element, for this example, very easily. You can measure and you can change your units. For this example, I can put in meters and in inches if i want put an inches if i want and change the precision i can calibrate my measurement this is for example if i have some pdf or duty model that it not so correctly the information i can calibrate and i can assure to measure right the, this particular information and i can explode my model if i want and you can see it's really faster way to see the elements. For example, in a Revit model, it takes more time to, to do some of these particular things. And this is a, a viewer that you can share the information. You can obtain the properties in your model. If I click for this particular element, I have the, the parameters that it has in this particular element. I can change the configuration and I can put all the screen if I want. This is for the 3D model and I can do the same for the a PDF or to, a 2D model. For example, I open a DWG and 
Now you can see it's almost the same. It's a, it's a viewer. You can measure. You can create some area elements. Try to measure some particular area or length. You can do that. And like it said, in the future, will be changed to Autodesk Drive. Now I have the Autodesk Drive too. If I go to this particular page, is you can see that it has a friendly interface. It's different to Autodesk A360 Drive. It's different. And for this example, I have some picture load for a bridge. This is in the future work for another particular software. It's different for Bin360. And this is, you can obtain for free this storage for five gigabytes. And for we have the subscription, it depends how much you pay for. You can obtain the storage. For this example, it's worth for me to create a, a cloud, a model cloud. Point. And this is work for the recap photo. Now, I hope that you can enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.